Hi guys, welcome to the channel. I'm Amanda and we are here with an art video that I'm doing sort of vlog style because I couldn't find a decent background so thought, screw it, let's just do it in the horrible background. Uh, as in my horrible fireplace. Anyway, um, so I am doing a video today that I'm not happy to produce or show you guys but I thought this is an artistic journey so we need to talk about my Are they joking? Anyway, <laughs> we need to talk about my um, whole reason for why I don't like this video or the art that I'm producing at the moment. And the reason that I don't like this video is because it's boring. It's like really boring. You guys are watching me sketch and you guys are watching me try and draw something in a style that I may or may not like. And I'm just trying to to be better at art and I'm failing and the reason I'm failing is because I don't know what happened well I do know what happened basically a couple of months ago or actually it's about six months maybe even a year ago I started to have trouble with art I didn't like what I was drawing I didn't like the fact that I was just doing portraits all the time I wanted to go more into illustration and uh, so I stopped doing portraits and started to draw other things and I just started to get frustrated because I wanted to draw something that I didn't know how to draw. So I started this an artistic series, um, artistic journey series where I um, teach myself how to draw things and to be honest I'm lost at to what as to what I want to do. I don't know what kind of art I want to draw. Well, I do know, but I also don't, if you get what I mean. I know that I want to draw certain things for myself, but I don't know what I want to draw for you guys, and I don't know what I want to... what what kind of direction I want to take my art in. There's a couple of directions that I thought that I wanted to go in, but I decided that that wasn't for me. And a couple of directions that I really want to go in, but don't know how to pursue. So. One of the ways that I wanted to do art was to draw something to make somebody happy. That's one of the things that I wanted to do and um, whether it be myself or somebody else then that's, that's just what I wanted to do. I wanted to make people happy with my art so I started doing portraits and drawing people and apparently that makes people happy to see a drawing of themselves on paper makes them happy so I did that. But then I got bored with that and really didn't get much from it. Nobody really wanted those kind of drawings anymore. So I stopped doing those. And I do miss those sometimes. But uh, we'll get into that maybe in a different video. But um, yeah, so I decided to draw um, in a more illustrative style. But obviously because I haven't drawn full bodies or people holding objects or people interacting with things. I didn't really know how to do that so I decided to try and learn. Um, learn by just looking at references and drawing and stuff like that. But again, I still didn't know where it was going and it was taking a long time. I know that art takes a long time. I know that people perfect their craft over hundreds and hundreds of years um, and maybe not even perfect their craft by the time that they die. But I wanted to be able to do that so um, I got frustrated with it and I quit or I didn't quit I thought that I was gonna quit um, I just stopped drawing that day I was like no I'm not doing this anymore sorry about my super shiny face by the way if you guys can see that that's that's terrible um, anyway so I started to draw more um, animals and creatures and tried to do character design which is something that I really want to do. I really want to draw characters in certain situations. Um, I want to be able to draw them in environments and backgrounds and things like that. I want to be able to draw myself and my family um, but to be honest to draw myself and my family I want to draw them in situations but we don't get into situations because we don't go anywhere um again that's a different topic but I don't know I'm not scripting this video I'm kind of lost um I did post a video a couple of months ago 
uh, saying that I was I've lost my way with art and that's still true I think um, I keep on saying this is what I'm gonna do this is how I'm gonna do it and then I start doing that and then I fall back into the stage where I'm like I don't know what to do I think that I'm not good enough I don't think that I'm um, capable of continuing this artistic journey um, and I kind of quit and go and try and find something else. I'm the type of person that gets obsessed with things so if I do drawing and I like it then I will get obsessed with it and I'll do it. If I start to paint or use a different medium I'll get obsessed with it and I'll do it until I burn myself out. If I decide that I like baking I will bake until I can't bake anymore. Um, if I find a TV sh show that I want to watch or that I really like, I will watch it until I can watch no more um, in huge chunks of time. For drawing recently, I've been drawing maybe 5 or 10 minutes, maybe a half an hour and then putting it down and going doing something else. So even though this isn't part of the video today because I want to get a video up for Friday but um, I just want to explain this to you guys. Um, Today I'm going to sit down with my sketchbook and a pencil and just draw things, um, copy other people's art for practice, draw from reference, draw things that I want to draw, um, sketch a lot and then um, after I've sketched a lot I'm going to see what kind of things that I would like to bring to um, a full illustration. I have a lot of collabs coming up and I am confident that I can get them all done but I am under a little bit of pressure because I'm not happy with my art and I need to obviously show the people that are watching the video from the other person's channel that I can actually draw if they want to follow me. Um, and another thing that I'm not happy with is my uh, video style. And that's due to the fact that I'm in a place where I don't feel really comfortable drawing or filming um, and I don't feel like I can set up really cute aesthetic things. Um, I've been watching a couple of videos from a few artists recently and their art space is so beautiful and I wish that I had an art space like that but I don't so I'm kind of not doing traditional art as much. Um, and because I'm not doing it for videos, I'm not doing it for myself either, uh, which is a bad thing because um, a couple of years ago, or maybe last year, I did a video where I said that um, I wanted to do more art for myself and more art to sell, more art to um, produce that I am proud of, so I wanted to not only draw for YouTube and I tend to fall back into that whole thing where I I tend to just draw things for YouTube and only for YouTube so then I get under pressure to make it look good and it doesn't have to look good because if I can't draw it then it won't look good. <laughs> I need to practice more basically is what I'm trying to say. So um, I had a little conversation with my friend Tor and she told me that um, my visual ability to see flaws and stuff has developed faster than my hand can actually draw in the way that I want. So I think that that's what's happening with me. I do totally agree. I've heard of this before. Basically your um, ability to look at a drawing and say this is wrong, this is wrong, that's wrong, I want it to look like this has kind of developed faster than your ability to actually draw the thing that you want to draw. So the way to get around that is just to draw as much as you can and to try and get um, as much done as possible in a short space of time I think um, and just to beat out the bad. You've got, to you've got to draw bad before you can draw good. It's just the same with everything else. You've got to make a bad batch of cupcakes before you can make a good one. Although to be honest if you follow the instructions <laughs> it's pretty easy but there's no instruction well there is instructions for art but there's not instructions for the way that you want to draw the way that you want to draw is inside your head and you just need to get it down on paper um but yeah that video was a mess my face is a mess yeah, that video was a mess because I just didn't know what I wanted to say. I just wanted to come on here and talk to you guys. Um, hopefully I will start to do the things that I want to do. I think I need a project or an assignment to work on. Something that 
I can just focus all my energy on and don't need to worry about different multiple things that I want to draw like say I want to draw a girl in a dress holding something but then I also wonder you know what I mean I'm, I need a cohesive kind of project maybe um, and I do have an idea but I don't know if it's going to be good enough for YouTube but then again I don't think that I should be tailoring my drawings towards YouTube videos I should be tailoring my YouTube to videos towards my drawings so I think I'm going to do the project and bring you guys along with me do all the research with you guys and start planning and um, thumbnailing and sketching and bringing it to a full completed thing. Um, I hope that you guys don't mind that. But anyway, I am going to stop this video because the footage honestly isn't that good for a 10 minute video. But I just wanted to ramble on. Um, hopefully we will be able to get good videos going soon. It is the 21st of September. So quickly before I go... Um, the art's probably finished by now and I'm just rambling on like nobody's business. Um, I could make the art longer but uh, maybe you could just see my face like a vlog. Um, did I write it down in my new planner? I got a new planner. Well, I didn't get a new planner. I made a new planner. Um, let's see. Let's click October. No. September. So it's the, is this September? Yeah, it's the 21st today. So I have one more video until October starts. Oh geez. Um, I didn't do watercolor Wednesday just cause I was feeling a bit down about my art. So in October we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine collabs. Nine collabs, guys. Maybe ten if I can. Ah, uh, thingy that. Or maybe eight because <laughs> there's one collab that I'm struggling with. But anyway, um, yeah. So we'll have a lot in October to look forward to. But right now, I'm just trying to figure out stuff. Um, if you guys have any suggestions on what I can do to help my art along the way, maybe some books to read or some books, uh, some instructional videos to watch or something, maybe some Skillshare classes. I've been watching Skillshare and I have been getting a lot out of that but sometimes I just get frustrated because it's not what I exactly want um, to learn. So, or should I go to school? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what we're gonna do but anyway I am gonna end this video here thank you so much for watching guys please remember to comment like and subscribe if you haven't already and hit that notification bell down below to get notified of all the videos that I post and I will see you in my next video bye guys